this is going to be another raw and unfiltered video. This video is going to be about achieving life goals. I think that's something that is a big focus of mine. Some of the life lessons I've learned from trying to achieve life goals. Some of the things that are needed to achieve life goals. I think, yeah, that's what the focus of this video will be. So just bear with me as I go through it. I think, let me talk about some of the things that I've achieved that I think are significant. Well, hopefully you've watched the video before this one about me going on a BBC TV show, BBC quiz show. Um, and winning that, I think that was a bucket list goal that was achieved that I think is quite significant, quite an achievement. Um, another one has been travelling to over 30 countries around the world, every single continent aside from Antarctica and Australia, I've been to at least one country from all of the other continents. Learning different languages, so Japanese, Nihongo ga hanasemasu, I just said I can speak Japanese. Um, making friends in Japan, living in Japan, um, meeting royalty and invited to, being invited to royal events for some of the work that I've done. Again, some of these things don't just involve me, they do involve other people, but I think that's something I'll talk about in terms of some life lessons that, about how you achieve things that you want to achieve. So yeah, let's, let's go. And of course, things like making money. I think I've, I've done some of those things in terms of making some money. Making some money in the stock market from time to time. Um, making some money through side hustles. So yeah, let me just go through some of the things that I've noticed or have realized that are important for achieving life goals. Another one is, uh, well, transforming my body. I think that's one that I've done over time. Still slim, still quite skinny, but I've got a little bit of a man meat on me, I like to say. Um, so yeah, I think that's what this video will be about. So, what are some of the things that are important for achieving life, less, life dreams, some of the life lessons I've learned? I think the first one is have an idea of what's important to you. I think things that I've learned are important to me. Obviously things like spending time with family and friends, I think those things are fundamental to life. You grow and you develop with the people that you love and you care about. They teach you important life lessons and the things that they teach you can remain with you for life, whether they continue to be in your life or not. Um, so I think that's one thing, being very cognizant, aware of the relationships that you have and not only the impact that they have in your life, but the impact that you have in those people's lives as well. Are you adding value to them in the same way that they are adding value to you? I think is important. I think reciprocity, that thing about give and take, is very, very important. Integrity is important as well. Are you someone that follow? All right, so there were some technical difficulties and the camera cut out. I think I was out of battery or memory on the previous battery or memory device. Anyway, continuing on with what I was saying, I think I was talking about resiliency, if I wasn't talking about resiliency, now I'm going to talk about resiliency. Resiliency is important. Nah, I don't like resiliency. Let's move on from resiliency. Resiliency is often talked about way too much. Um, so what happens when you see planning? Planning is what's needed. That was a clear example of a lack of planning on my part. I should have checked, but I don't think it was a battery. I definitely think it was out of memory and I did have a spare uh, memory card, which I then changed. So it should have been something I looked at before I started recording. So planning is key in terms of achieving life goals. I think some of the best things that I've achieved has been working in teams with people who are amazing at planning and being organized. I think about some of the work events that I've done in the past um, where I've organized large events with say 400 people plus and this took months of planning. We're talking about six plus months of planning in which I worked with a team either leading the team or working in collaboration with a manager leading the team. Planning it in collaboration with all of those members of the team and the importance of having a plan 
having contingencies in place as I did have a contingency in terms of having a spare memory card. I didn't have to go out and buy a new memory card. I just had to put in a new one. But of course, if I'd actually checked beforehand, then I wouldn't have had to have even changed the memory card. I could have just continued with the one I had. And that's why planning is so important. People can think it's such a mundane and boring thing to do, but it's so key to having success to actually really plan things out, think about the worst case scenario, think about contingencies, think about having backups. And that's why talking to people about things you're trying to achieve, people you trust, people who you know have achieved the things that you've achieved are so important. I think that's something I've also noticed in terms of achieving life goals. Um, another one is just actually thinking about what kind of life it is that you want. If you know what life it is that you truly want, what works best for you, then you can go for that. For me, it's about a life that's expansive, a life with so many different opportunities and experiences, traveling to many different countries, learning from many different ways of life, understanding what works, what doesn't work, what's beneficial to life, what isn't beneficial to life, to have a long and sustainable life, a fulfilled life, one with, well, there's always going to be challenges and, and tribulations and trials, um, but ideally those would be as few as possible, and when they do come, you have the mindset from all the experiences that you've undertaken and been through to be able to deal with those trials and tribulations and challenges. And I think that's something that's important as well. Mindset over everything, I think mindset is so very important. I've worked with many, many people in many different circumstances, people who are severely disabled and see how they manage their day-to-day -day life where they're those who don't have any kind of disabilities or challenges in line with those of the disabled people I've worked with and yet the disabled people are able to overcome and live life day in day out with a smile on their face whilst dealing with the challenges that they have. I think those kind of things can really put it into perspective about how to do this thing called life. And I think another thing about that is perspective. I think having a perspective that is beyond your own life, I think that's something that we could forget at times. We live just thinking about ourselves. We are ourselves 24 hours of the day, every single day. We really don't get to be anybody else aside from when we daydream or maybe do some drugs that uh, change our perspective. But even then, those are just temporary things. Invariably, we are stuck with ourselves and we don't learn to look beyond ourselves when we're having challenges or when we're trying to achieve something. But we can often be limited in our ability to achieve those things. So those are some of the aspects. I will do another video where I'll talk more about achieving life goals. But I think mindset the people in your life, giving as much as you can to others without obviously overdoing it in terms of balancing your own physical and mental well-being. I think those are things that are key in terms of achieving great things in this life and really thinking about having a life that's as expansive as possible I think are very, very important and have been key in helping me to achieve things. All right.